figures this season in 22 of 23 Marshall games his last 19 in a row. Castillo makes it from outside. Lost his man, you're right. Missed the easy bunny. 10-4, Marshall quickly on top by six. Sean Reed from outside. He pushes it. Sean Reed. There's much more parity in the league this year. Marshall, I don't think playing that poorly certainly but they have not dominated as many people expected they would joey brooks with the basket to make it side but keeping the ball out around the perimeter reed takes the three-pointer good again so sean reed at six joey brooks the second leading rebounder for fun and averaging about six a game Furman beats the press, but then Brooks throws it away. Pass intended over there for Tom Chase, a junior from Kissimmee, Florida. There is Tom Chase getting a start. I'm not too sure that Coach Butch Estes wants Joey Brooks out there leading the fast break. Well, he along the thundering herd, Furman has picked up two team fouls. Marshall, Marshall on top by seven. Marshall with the man-to-man -man on the inbounds play. Crosby from outside hits a three-pointer. Or Chase, Tom Chase. So far, on the offensive boards. Long pass, Churchill behind everybody, and this one he laid up and in. Boy, Marshall had the pressure on. Somebody blew an assignment. Gary Churchill all by himself. Okay. Churchill wide open. Gary Churchill's fourth point of the afternoon. Intercepted by the Paladin. Sean Reed shoves it up court. Fourth turnover for Marshall. Let's see if Furman can take advantage of it. Yes, sir. Bucket by Tom O'Donnell, number 31, a freshman from Carrollton, Ohio, who checked. Three if it goes. That's John Castile. So the Paladins now down by six. Four three-pointers. Auditorium. Two and a half minutes to go first half. Marshall 32, Furman 28. Bob Furman basketball really beginning to catch on here. The end of the Neil Garrison with that driving layup, and that cuts the lead to two. Garrison he got called for the walk. Skip Henderson, four out of seven from the field in the first half. He has nine points. Boy, wide open, John Castillo. Well, that, uh, you saw uh, Skip Henderson's foot was on the sideline. Furman down by four. There's Castillo. Boy, shot Tom blocked Curry by Curry. Brooks grabs it and throws it through. So Furman has the first four points of the second half on the all-time Marshall list of scores. Henderson, number one at Marshall. Two pretty good careers out of those. Churchill moved around Henderson and fired it through. Bob, you notice the last 10 minutes or so going with the jump switch, which was very good to both of them at different times in the first half. Marshall early, Furman late. Tracy Garrick, the freshman from Gadsden, also in for Furman. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. That's Garrick over Henderson. He it good. Tracy Garrick's first basket of the afternoon. It's a nice looking jumper. He plays good defense. Inside, Joey Brooks gets it to go over Tom Curry. That's a pretty nice play by Joey Brooks. 
They're watching and being consistent on both ends of the floor as far as the underneath contacts concerned. Basket by Churchill off a beautiful feed by Garrison. Lead of 13 for 60%. Marshall with a lead of 10. Here's Reed again. This one won't go. Brooks in great position. Missed the layup. Gets it and puts it up again. Boy, Furman had all the Marshall players blocked out on that. That one is good by Sean Reed. That's only Reed's third field goal of the afternoon. Seattle, his hometown. Well, Tom Curry, really the most dominating big player in the Southern Conference. Not necessarily the best scorer or the best rebounder, but when you consider those block shots. Tracy Garrett scores for the Paladins. 58 back when everybody played only three years instead of four. The game against Newberry College, he scored 100 points. John Reed with oh, downtown. That may be, have been from NBA range. Well, he can shoot the ball. Shoot the ball. Not hurt. Steal here by Churchill. Missed the shot, but he is fouled by John Taft. Mark of the game. And Bob, that was Marshall's first offensive rebound in the second half. O'Donnell travels. Yes, he does. Mike Sierko made the call. And the student section right behind us. <laughs> and uh, some of the middle-aged crowd. This is Taft. Oh, my. What a shot. Taft travels. Boy, Rick Huckabee, Johnny Lyles on the Marshall bench, really upset. Rodney Holden went down. I'm not sure if Rodney was hit that hard or if he did a little uh, play acting. But he went down. And the Marshall coach, Rick Huckabee, well, he did not the least bit pleased with that turn of events. He was trying to set a pick. For okay. Three pointer by Reed. And it's a one point game. Furman comes charging back against the thundering herd. 60 to four. That's the fourth or fifth time we've seen Marshall charged with going up over the back today. Three if it goes. Chase gets a three pointer. Tom Chase. And Furman leads 62 60 with 3.45 to go in the game. There you got a chance to listen into both huddles. Coach is setting their strategy. You as much of that as possible. Chance to go up by four. And you heard, you saw Marshall do exactly what Coach Rick Huckabee outlined. If Skip Henderson's double team, Tom Curry, you come out and get it. Henderson loses the ball to Castillo. And he crashes into that, uh, John Taft, but they both get up. Well, Garrick with a world-class oh, industrial strength dunk. Excellent buzzer. Right he tipped in one last year against Middle Tennessee. Now, here is uh, Butch Estes. Excellent. Everybody close. This last 14 seconds, their defensive pressure has been very good. They forced several turnovers. In fact, they forced 19 Marshall turnovers in the basketball game. If the ball goes into the lanes, if it stays out on the perimeter, I think they'll go with the chances. Here we go. What he just said is if they score, take a timeout. Switch every pick and make them go over. He's talking about switching up the game. We've seen Marshall throw up a little one, two, two. John Reed makes the bucket in the lanes. We haven't seen Reed in there a lot this afternoon. No, in fact. Also coming up next Saturday for many of the fans on the network, Appalachian State and BMI. There's Garrick. Makes it good, and he's fouled by Skip Henderson. 
Henderson commits the personal foul, and Tracy Garrett, the freshman from Caxton, South Carolina, who has really come on here in the second half in the overtime. He has eight points all after halftime. Boy, that's a big play. Watch it again. This is Garrick with the basketball. There you see the shoulder, the bump, the score, and the foul called on Skip Henderson. There's not much you can say. Listen to Butch Estes. Listen to Butch Estes. I want to run home run for a I'll send Dean in there to throw the ball, okay? Now here's where the strategy really has to go on in the Furman hub in Greenville, South Carolina. For Dan Shoemaker, this is Bob Bowen for our entire crew, bidding you a very pleasant good afternoon. The final score, Marshall 70, Furman 69.